Hey guys, so if you're moving to Atlanta and you want to know more about the Midtown area, perhaps you watched my Midtown vlog tour already and you just want to know more, this video is for you. I'm going to do a Google Maps tour where I just kind of show you how to get around the area, you know, tell you about the one-way roads. There are a couple. So, um, and then my secret is everything leads to Peachtree Street. So I'll explain that here coming up. So if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a text, give me a call or send me an email. But first, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you can be one of the first to be notified when I do post a new video. But in any case, let's go jump onto the map. Okay, so, so let's hit the map of Midtown. And here you can see just how it is. I mean, dead center of Atlanta. Well, not quite, but you know, almost. Just north of downtown. So as I mentioned in my vlog tour, you know, getting to air, the airport right down here, um, very straight shot down 85. It takes you probably 15 minutes and, um, you know, highway systems. I mean, all the highways merge right through Midtown. So 75, 85. Um, so it's going to be heavy traffic right in through here. Obviously any, um, midtown downtown area through a city is it, this is going to be, um, pretty slow going during rush hour traffic. Um, but you can literally hop on so easily and quickly. Um, if you live in the midtown area and you can be on your way up 75 North, if you are going up, up to like Smyrna, the ball baseball, stadium which if you didn't know is like right around here truest park that's what it's called um or you know there's the suburbs of like marietta this way or you can head out 85 this way um and then you know 75 85 goes down south and then splits off here and you can be on your way to the beach in my <laughs> my opinion that's where i'd be going if i was going south but um but yeah, there's uh, several different access points to the highway. Um, one of them being, you know, right off of 10th Street, you can get on 7585. There's another ramp right off of North. This is North Avenue. So right down here. And I believe there's one. Let's see. Is it 14th Street or is it 17th Street? I am drawing a blank but it might be 17th street where you can access the highway don't quote me on that I'm going off of memory here and i may be wrong but um somewhere along here you can access the highway there um one thing to keep into account is that midtown does have some one-way streets and at first i got a little confused when i first moved here i was like what is going on but i mean it's not that many if you live here long enough you'll get the hang of it in no time it doesn't take that long to remember but um the one thing i will say is that if you ever get lost in midtown just find your way to peach tree street and you can reorient yourself and get to where you need to go off of peach tree street because peach tree street spans all the way into downtown so like this is peachtree street and like if you want to get downtown and you're not for sure how to go just go on peachtree street it'll bring you right into downtown same thing if you want to get into buckhead you don't have to get on a highway you can take peachtree street all the way up it'll just keep going 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 and I mean, it's going to be a lot of stoplights, so it's going to be a lot of stop and go uh, traffic, but you can see, you get the point here. Um, this is pulling me right up into, you know, if you want to go shopping at the, the malls or hit up some restaurants around there, I mean, you can just stick on Peachtree Street, get up there. Um, it's usually not that bad of a commute, but sometimes there can be construction or something going on and then that's where you run into some issues i remember a while back they were doing some construction over like the overpass here on um 80 highway 85 and so this got packed up really bad and it was really really frustrating and annoying um side note there is a piedmont hospital right here and they also have a pediatrician's office which that's where we take our kids so if you're looking for a pediatrician's office nearby um, that's a good one it's a busy office but they have some great docs there um, and there's also speaking of hospitals there is um, an emory midtown hospital right here just kind of on the edge of um 
Midtown, just past north, south of North Avenue and right along Peachtree Road. So another option for you. Um, but yeah, let's get back to one-way streets. I was getting a little bit off on a tangent there, but so the one-way streets, let me zoom in a little bit more. And so we've got 10th Street right here, which is a pretty busy road, very main road. Peachtree Street is a very main road, um, but this Juniper Street goes one way this way. And then um, Piedmont Avenue is a one way this way. And then we also have a West Peachtree Street. Don't get that confused with Peachtree Street. Um, but P West Peachtree Street goes north. And then we have Spring Street that goes south. Um, one thing I do want to know about this Piedmont Avenue is that I got very confused when I first moved here. And I was driving around Piedmont Park, which you can see is right here. And I was driving along down Piedmont this way. And it's a, it's a two-way street right here. Um, but you get down to, let's see, 14th Street right here, and then you have to turn. You cannot go this way. It's a one-way street right in through here only. So I got really confused by that the first couple of times I was driving around, um, but you figure it out eventually. Trust me, you will. Um, just use your GPS for a little while. It'll help you out. Let me erase some of this scribble marks here. Um, but let's also, you know, point out, you know, shopping, where do you go to get groceries? Where do you go to like, just get your daily, you know, supplies, soap and, um, I don't know what else, um, clothes, whatever. So there's actually quite a few grocery store options for you. So there is, and I mentioned this in my, oops, forgot to mute my phone. Um, in my vlog tour, there is a Publix right off of let's see here am i getting down to it here it is there's a Publix right here off of spring street and just a block south of 10th street and this is actually attached to the plaza midtown condo tower so that's kind of cool um, there's also a new whole foods that opened up just in the last two years or so and it's just off of 14th street um, so that's, um, it's a really nice whole foods right there, but if you want, you know, another option, you can drive over to Ansley mall and there's a Publix and there's also a Kroger right, um, next to it right there. So that's another option. There's also a Trader Joe's on the edge of Midtown right here off of Monroe and 10th street. Um, so there's, there's not a lot of Trader Joe's in in the city. I think there's just this one and the one in Buckhead, but um, there's also another Whole Foods right here, just across from Pont City Market. And there's also another Publix right here, just south of North Avenue. Um, I do think this Publix and the one here in Midtown, they're a little bit smaller, you know, space is limited. So, um, you know, just know that you're not going to get every option under the sun in these grocery stores, but for, you know, your kind of your basics, you, you're covered there. Um, you know, if you just need to get kind of like your everyday stuff, uh, you're looking for like a Target or a Walmart or something, there is a Target over here at Atlantic Station. So that could be a really quick option for you if you live over here. You can just, um, usually when I go, I just go up West Peachtree, hit 17th Street, and it brings you right over to the Target right there. Um, you could also go, I think that would be the closest one. I mean, there's the one, there's a target over here in Edgewood, that'd be a little bit further. So I'm guessing you would go hang out over there. And if you're not familiar with Atlantic Station, um, they also have just, it's like an open aired uh, shopping area with a lot of like clothing stores, like a Bath and Body Works and H&M, Loft, uh, Banana Republic, that kind of thing. So and there's some uh, restaurants over there as well. But um, speaking of restaurants, I mean, Midtown is a great place to, I mean, for nightlife and going out to eat. And I just want, I mean, there's too many restaurants that I could never cover them all possibly. 
on this video and you might be bored listening to me if I try to hit them all but um, you know along Peachtree Street you're gonna you're gonna find a ton of options some are more low-key like this vortex bar and grill if you just want like a burger this is a um, what where'd it go it just okay here we go I was trying to zoom in on it so you could see a picture um, this has a great it's a very popular spot for burgers um, and just very you can see like the interior it's kind of fun and a um, little quirky there is um, gosh it's, I'm like it's overload of how many places there are echo off of 7th Street I really love this one there's one in Buckhead now um, great you know upper scale type of dining uh, they have like fried goat cheese balls that are really really good and I'm not I'm not even a goat cheese person I think it's goat cheese I think that that might be it maybe not I don't know um, guys they're good just try them sometime and they have some great flatbread uh, pizzas so just a really um, great spot um, another one that I just went to um, it was this consulate it's a newer restaurant um, just if you're wanting like a cool atmosphere this place is pretty unique I mean just look at it right there um, there's a lot of different rooms and the ambiance is cool and they feature food from different countries so that's a fun one I had to put my name on a reservation I just made it like for a month out um, they were completely full unless you want to eat at the 5 o'clock hour or the 10 o'clock p.m. hour so um, that's one thing here I found out in Atlanta in general a lot of the good restaurants you need to make those reservations way in advance or they, they all the good times get booked up so um, you kind of have to plan a little bit for if you want to get some of the popular hit up some of the popular restaurants um, going back along Peachtree Street, um, gosh, what else? Cafe Intermezzo. I mentioned this one. If you're wanting like a good like dessert place after dinner, this is the place you need to go. I mean, <laughs> they have every kind of pie under the sun. It's almost overwhelming and they have all sorts of fun coffees. So a great date night spot. And they also have like a brunch menu, you know, and you know, like a sandwich soup type place for lunches. But this is the place you need to go for a dessert if you want to treat yourself. And what else? Uh, there is Tabla, which is like an Indian restaurant. Um, man, I mean, I could go on and on. If you head up a little bit further, you're going to hit this spot called Colony Square which is off of 14th and Peachtree. And it's got like a really cool um, food hall. I showed it in my vlog tour, um, but there's also some other restaurants right outside of it. This Five Church Midtown is a, a fun one for like a date night or just like an evening out, kind of um, place to be seen, that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, there, if you go in here, you're going to find all sorts of fun um, little places to eat. And yeah, I mean, I could go on, like I said, I could go on and on with restaurants. There's too many to talk about. Um, but let me skip back over here where I can scribble a little bit more. Um, you know, in Midtown, remember, there's going to be tons and tons of high rise condos. You're going to find lots of hotels. Um, a couple of my favorite hotels in the area is there is the Lowe's right here. Um, let me scroll over a little bit more right here by Cafe Intermezzo, 11th and Peachtree. Great hotel there. There is the W Hotel, which I think that's off of. Um, if I scroll in a little bit more, it'll show. I think it's off of 14th Street. Well, I don't think it's pulling up unless I'm missing it, but there is a W hotel. I think it's kind of like right around there. Um, that's another great one. And then let me go all the way back down to the south part of uh, Midtown. So I got to mention the Fox Theater. You have to check out the Fox Theater. Go see a show. They do a lot of Broadway shows there. Um, and then there is this great hotel right across the street. 
um, called, I'm drawing a blank on it, but the Georgian Terrace. Yeah, beautiful hotel. Even if you don't stay there, just walk in the lobby. It's just fun to see their stairwell and that kind of thing. And they have a great restaurant in there. Um, this Lily Midtown is a newer Italian restaurant. And there's also this marquee club. So some kind of like more nightlife lounge areas right along here on Peachtree Street. Um, I mean, there's, there's so much <laughs> to go over, but, um, if you're feeling kind of like you want to see a little piece of history, head up right by 10th and Peachtree street. And you can see the Margaret Mitchell house. And this was the home of the author for gone with the wind. So you could go check that out, um, right there. Um, now if you're wanting to ride Marta, there is a Marta station right here off of 10th Street or Peachtree Place Northeast, not Peachtree Road, not West Peachtree, but Peachtree Place Northeast. Um, so there's a Marta right here. Now there's not a parking lot to park your car. Like if you watch my in and park vlog tour, there was like a whole massive parking lot. You could park your car. Midtown is not that, but I mean, if you live in Midtown, you probably don't need to take a car to <laughs> the Marta station. You can walk there. It's not that far. You know, if you have a condo on Juniper or Peachtree, any of these, like this is, you know, walking three or four blocks is not going to kill you. Um, that's, what's great about Midtown is like, you really don't have to have a car if you, um, you know, live and work around here. Um, so yeah, the, the Marta station is right there. There's also another one kind of on the northern end of, yeah, um, Midtown by the Art Center. So like your High Museum of Art right there. The Center for Puppetry Arts, that's super cute. Let me just zoom on that. If you have small kids looking for something to do, take them to the Center for Puppetry Arts. Um, they always have different shows going on throughout the year, but even in their area where it's just like a self-guided tour, you can see all the Sesame Street Muppet characters. Um, so my kids really enjoyed that. And um, one thing you must do during the Christmas time is go see Rudolph. That's such a cute uh, puppet production. I mean, it's, it's really good. Like it's not, um, I mean, it's very professionally done. It's, it's just go sometime. <laughs> Trust me on that. Even if you don't have kids, it's a really cute little show to watch. So, um, oh, there we go. Okay. So those spots now, of course you're right next to Piedmont park. So that's really great. If you just want some green space, you can easily walk over there. Um, just cut through any of the streets. This active oval is a nice, like, about a half a mile loop so I'll literally run over there and if I'm just wanting some flat space to run I will go on here and it's gravel so it's just nice on the, the feet um, but there's a lot of different trails in throughout the park and if you have a dog and you want to take them out to run but don't feel like getting in your car and driving anywhere you can just walk your dog over to Piedmont Park they have a big dog park right around here um, where you can take off their leash let them run it's a really nice nice dog park um now i mentioned let me clear out some of this scribble again i mentioned um you know midtown is has a bunch of condos hotels so that's primarily going to be right off in through here now there are some single family homes in the midtown area and that's all going to be kind of south of the park uh west of i'm sorry east of piedmont avenue and just um, to the west of Monroe. So this is where you're gonna find your single family homes. There's gonna be some condo buildings or apartment buildings in it, but it's gonna be garden level. It's only, you know, three to five stories high, not, you know, a sky skyscraper um, or a high rise. Um, and, you know, all these areas, it's great because you can walk over to the park. You're very close to there. And you're also close to Pont City Market. And if you are wondering where the belt line is, so the belt line runs right through here. So if you are wondering, you know, if I live over here, how do I get to the belt line? Just pop on 10th. They have some nice sidewalks through there and then just follow it till you merge. It's probably gonna be a mile, mile and a half to get over there. Um, schools, I should mention that Midtown is zoned to really good schools. Where are they located? So you can see right here, right across the street from 
uh, Piedmont Park is Midtown High School for the elementary school that's on the edge of Virginia Highland. So it's right here off the corner of Briarcliff and Ponce de Leon. And then for the middle school, that's a little further south over kind of Old Fourth Ward area right here, the Howard Middle School. So, you know, if you're living over here, you just kind of have to cut through the neighborhoods, probably hit Boulevard, go down, um, or even go, you know, Ponce down to Glen Iris. That'll take you pretty much a direct route over there. Um, if you want to get over to the Springdale Elementary, probably best bet is either to go 10th, and then hit is this highland yeah highland get over that way or just take ponce and you'll hit it that way as well so a lot of different little options there um and then yeah i mean there's a lot of people i know that work over in midtown and or live in midtown work over kind of by emory the children's hospital the adult hospital cdc um so it's probably I don't know 12 to 15 minutes to drive there it's not bad you're just taking you know ponds there's a couple of different ways you could go there to get there um, up through Briarcliff hit North Dakota Road or if that's looking bad you could also um, keep going on ponds and hit up Clifton Road that way so a couple different options there and like I said if you're trying to get up to Buckhead you can really just stay on Peachtree um, to get over there for some shopping um, but yeah I mean you're living in the center of everything so if you want to get out of town you just pop on the highway and you are there and I guess I should also mention you know Georgia Tech is right here so um, there is kind of like a Georgia Tech area in Midtown just off of Fifth Street they've got a few little buildings over there yeah, if I scrolled out, what do they call it? Tech Square. So you'll see students walking kind of along here on Fifth Street. And there's some little restaurants, you know, quicker bites, like a, I don't know, I want to say Subway, but Moe's. <laughs> I didn't want to say the wrong thing. But um, so you'll see a lot more like students walking around through here. You got a Starbucks. Um, um, what else? That's kind of it. I mean, again, lots of little restaurants, but um, I will say, do not go over here during a football game. I got stuck. I was showing a home, and I was trying to get back from showing a home over in West Midtown, and I was trying to get back across here when there is a football game going on around here. Oh my gosh, the I mean, everything was backed up really really bad so just avoid this area if you <laughs> on a game day um, unless you like sitting in traffic so just the, just a couple thoughts there anyway like I said if you ever get lost in Midtown just find your way to this main street of Peachtree Street and you can typically find your way back um, to like the main center of Midtown so that's kind of my advice for you but I think that covers everything I wanted to about Midtown. Just a great walkable area. You don't really need a car, but you know, if you are wanting to get out of the city a little bit, um, you're probably gonna need a car. So, um, but most condo complexes, I mean, all of them provide some kind of parking spot for you for a car. So. In any case, you guys, if you have any questions about this Midtown video or anything in general, just put those questions in the comments box below, or you can shoot me a text, give me a call, send me an email. I would love to hear from you and see how I can help you out. So until next time, you guys, I'll see you later.